Hello everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this is Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2017. This time looking at the Lafitte Fire Department Haunted House way down south in the swamps. <laughs> south of nowhere. I, I, I it's no, past the swamp tours. I have no idea where it is actually. I know it's below swamp tours. Yeah. In Lafitte, Louisiana. A wonderful little town actually. I mm-hmm. should... Um, I should not be saying anything cross about it. Well, no. <laughs> That's not cross, actually. No, I'm kidding. No. no. It's a lovely town. Yes. But yes. Um, the Lafitte, we love going there and no, getting we, the food right we, off yeah, the water. We love going there. We love getting the food. We love hanging out in the town a little bit, then going right. to the fire department, yep. and then making our way back. It's actually a surprisingly short drive for us. I know. It seems like we it all, should be We forever. always talk about it like it's forever, but it's only like 30 minutes for us, mm-hmm. one direction. It's crazy it's f- much much further for us to go to rise oh yeah but anyways yeah regarding this haunt you know you can almost literally copy and paste our review from last year with one exception yes and that exception is they have real walls now yes they have upgraded they have put you know money back into the haunt they do every year mm-hmm. but this year it is a sustainable input you know I yeah appreciate that. Well, here's the thing. It's like, I know in our previous reviews, we talked about how we wish they would have gotten away from the tarp tunnel and moved right. to panel-based construction. You know, like, you know, basically the idea was panels are reusable. You can bring mm-hmm. them out. You can build something much more structurally sound right. with them. Uh, but yeah, there is an upfront expense in moving to panels. Believe me, I know. Right. I'm sitting here surrounded by them. <laughs> <laughs> I think we finally have enough. <laughs> I don't think we do. Any more panels. But the point of the matter is, they moved to a completely panel-based construction, and it does show the construction is much more solid. They were able to do more with it. Right. Now, one thing I think they can should do with it is over the course of the next year, take time and paint these panels, make different scenes, make different rooms, right. do things with them. Because right now, they're mostly just in the same style of quick painting and you know that... that Right. Black wall with decoration, basically. Yeah. Which is what you would expect from a uh, charity-type haunt. Right. But uh, this is an opportunity for them to do more. They can do real rooms, real scenes. Mm-hmm. And I'm very excited to see what they do with it, too. This is interesting. Yeah, it is. This is They, they just got the panels. Yeah, so exactly. We love these guys. We love so. these guys, and they do a great job. Um, they're very effective. Now, we went with our resident chicken. Yes. That's her her terms, not mine. Yep. Not being offensive. That is what she calls herself. Uh, and she definitely, this was the most scared we saw her at any yes. we went to. Um, she was cornered by two chainsaw-wielding clowns. Yes. And it, it showed. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I mean, you know, this is a style of haunting we don't see much, especially in this part of the country. Right. Anymore. No. I mean, this style of charity slash local haunting, yeah. where you have people doing it for the love of the haunt. Right. And it's, it's you know, it's low budget, it's creative. Oh, yeah. Because whenever you have a very small budget, you have to be creative in order to make it interesting. Absolutely. They're using what they have on hand, which is a lot of chainsaws and the jaws of life and right. stuff like that. Um so, yeah, once again, a lot of the same stuff makes a reappearance. You could tell that a lot of the focus this year was on upgrading the structure of the mm-hmm. haunt. And, you know, that that's the kind of upgrades you have to do from time to time. Yeah. It may not always be very customer-facing, right? but it will show down the line. It's an opportunity in the next couple of years to do some more amazing things with it. They did, once again, do their blackout maze in the burn right. room. Uh, uh, it, no, it's not. Not in the burn room. room. That's right. It's a separate room. Yeah. Room. Yeah. I, I've said before, I'm not a fan of it. They made fun of me for not being a fan of it, and I'm fine with that. That's just the relationship we have. Right. But I, I stand by my answer. It's not my favorite part of the haunt. My favorite part is all the other creative stuff they do. Right. They, now, I will say, as far as blackout mazes go... It is the best done, yes. They have my favorite one. Yes. Because they they play around with you in there. They, they play around very aggressively in there, and they do it in a way that is actually... It, it doesn't feel as frustrating. Yeah, as it's other very music. disorienting, and it, it's comical in places. Yes. Which is a nice break. It is. The, the, it's actually a lot of fun in that regard. It's still not my favorite mm-hmm. part of the haunt. Everything else they do in there, mm-hmm. with the creativity and what they bring to it, 
right. is to me so much better. Yeah. But at the same time, I have a feeling, at least from their perspective, the haunt would be too short without that maze. Yeah. But honestly, I think the rest of the haunt's a pretty good length. Yeah. It's certainly, if you look at it, like I said, from the dollar per minute rule, which I know is bull, but still, if you look at it from that perspective, the rest of the haunt by itself is a good deal. They don't need the maze. But, hey, it's something they like. And like I said, they do it better than just about anybody else at yeah. the same time, like you said. Yeah, so I, I think they put the most actors in their maze, and I think that's why it makes it more fun yeah. than, they, they, than they, other ones. They are definitely very committed to making that maze more interactive and more engaging than mm -hmm. a lot of places. Like a lot of places, like even like Waterloo, go back right. to our review of them, it felt like in the blackout maze, it's like, here, you're in the blackout maze, screw you, roam around, find your way out. Yeah, yeah, there was this is not, in there. That's not what this is. In fact, I don't know if I've ever been in a blackout maze where there were actors. I know the haunt we worked at in South Carolina had a blackout maze with actors in it. Uh, yeah, some nights, but not most. That's uh, that's going way, way back for us. Yeah. That's, that's, whoa, Jesus, 16 years? Yeah. Holy God. I am old people. I am sorry. Um... But yeah, it's such a fun style of haunting. It's something that you don't get a lot of in this region. Right. Um, I hear it's more common elsewhere, but still, in New Orleans area, this is the only place to experience this this grassroots, charity, creative style of haunting and very aggressive scare kind of haunting, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, so definitely. All, yeah, all in all, it's just a lot of fun. And for $15 a ticket... Right. It's a deal. So, yeah. if you're anywhere, especially if you're on the West Bank of New Orleans, mm -hmm. there's no reason not to go to these guys. The drive is not that long. I know no. it feels like it's forever. That's because you cross bridges. And bridges and go bridges through country make it and feel stuff. Longer. It does. But believe me, the drive is short. The price is good. There's just no reason not to go. I, no. I, I don't and know. And the people are great. The people are great. They're amazingly nice people. It's a lot of fun, and you're supporting a great cause, too. Yeah, it goes back into the community you know, every for year. A variety, it goes into a variety of things mm -hmm. in the community, including scholarship funds, the fire department itself, um, there's, there's Santa thing. Right. They throw candy at kids. Basically, you're giving kids candy. Yeah. Look at it that way. If that helps, you're giving kids candy by going to this haunt. And opportunity with the and, scholarships. Oh, that, too. Who cares about opportunity? Uh, but in all seriousness, it is such a great haunt, such a great cause. There's no reason not to go. It's mm -hmm. a lot of fun. And it's honestly, it's one of the haunts I really look forward to going to every year. Yeah, me too. It, 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 I'm, I'm real, I was realizing this year that we've been to all the local haunts so many times. It's hard for me to be excited about going to a haunt. Right. This is a haunt I'm still excited about going to. Yeah. And that says a lot. It does. Well, on that note, everyone, I'm Jonathan. I'm Crystal. And this was Garbage Horror Haunt Review 2017, looking at the Lafitte Haunted House. Lafitte Fire Department Haunted House. Yes. We will see you guys next time.